guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Lucinda Moore and I would like to share uh, a brief word with you and my experience so stay tuned in this video because um, I believe that God is going to tell you something that you haven't heard before and he wants you to hear it because this might be the word that you're looking for that is going to take you into the modern season and that is going to help you with that battle you've been facing lately and just look on god has things in store so far see i would like to start off by um, giving you the scripture now it comes from luke 10 19 and it reads behold i gave you i gave unto you sorry power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means harm you now this scripture means a lot to me because it clearly says or tells you that you have the power to to command devils and demons to move from their city to stop troubling your mind and God has given you that power and authority to take whatever the enemy has stolen from you now another thing that I have learned from the scripture um, one of the points that the Lord has given on to me is that uh, a lie that Satan tells you is that hold on guys now this this lie that Satan tells you this relates to sexual sin right um, God is delivering me from sexual sin right as of now and I'm currently going through deliverance but this is just to enlighten you of the things that Satan does right so he will make you feel comfortable in that position and as in comfortable as in um in your mind and in your body um he will lie to you and make you feel good in that time that you're committing that act right and he will not tell you the truth because he's the author of lies yes and also he does this right he does this in such a way that you will fall for it i don't know why i'm looking at this this side and not this side sorry guys um so he does this this so he can steal your joy your peace and everything that god has given unto you and he wants to steal your salvation everything that god has placed in your heart all your ideas all your good ideas that god has blessed you with your peace of mind he do not like when you have peace he came to steal and destroy so guys you gotta be very aware this is what i've learned this is what i'm learning currently in my situation that god has delivered me from and i felt the need to share it from you now guys if you know the trouble that have been through just to film this video like my audio wasn't even working and i had to turn on and off the phone and thank god this video is filming right now in the name of jesus now the other point that i wanted to make um from my perspective is that um your salvation is worth a lot now you went through a lot think of it you went through a lot in life right um from your past you went through a lot with people and so on so your salvation when you come to christ is like everything you ever wanted to be like god is take away the old and bring in the new and he's trying to make you a new you right so your salvation is worth a lot so this next quote is that now you cannot sell out your salvation for two minutes of pleasure right because pleasure only lasts for like one or two minutes according to me right and i will not sell my salvation out that I've worked so hard to build up in Christ and 
day and night you have to be reading your bible just to get your mind focused on christ and meditating on the word of god and i will not sell my soul out my my, my salvation out for such a cheap price like i will not do it at all for two minutes of pleasure only uh, gotta be kidding me so guys it's not worth it at all it's not worth it right that masturbation is not worth it that pornography that you're looking at is not worth it right i was there right and god is bringing me from a state of being what must i say uh, from longing to be in with a person to a stage of being contented with him only and i'm so glad that i'm feeling like that like i'm content with only christ jesus alone because listen this body right it is one the flesh just want to fool you sometimes but listen this flesh this body belongs to the spirit of god this is the this is the Holy Spirit's body. So this body does not belong to us. So we have to have that understanding to say that the, our body does not belong to us. Right? So. So. We have this understanding now that the, the enemy comes to kill, steal and destroy. Right? Anything that he finds good that God is working on. Example yourself and me. Right? God is using us tremendously. That's why He wants to break us apart. But He cannot prevail. The gate of hell shall not prevail. In the name of Jesus. Now, I'm going to share another scripture. Um, the same um, scripture with you. But it's um, from another verse. So, we did 19 before. So, we are looking at... Luke 10 16 to 18 now the reason why we're looking at this one now is because it really stood out to me like an understanding a brief one at that uh, the enemy will try to trick us sometimes that our words do not mean anything but listen what this Bible verse has to say and then you will tell me back now it reads it says he that heareth you you and I he that heareth you, heareth me. That means whoever hears us, our voice, right, heareth the Lord's voice. So, my elder would normally say when they are speaking to demons, hear the voice of God. Hear the voice of God. It's coming from your mouth. But the Father is speaking. The Son of God is speaking. Jesus is speaking through your mouth. So that's why he's saying, he that heareth you, heareth me. And it goes on to say, And he that despises you, you and I, despises me. Right? And he that despises me, despises him that sent me. Now listen guys, just like that, it goes from you and I, to the Son, which is Jesus, then to the Father, which is God. Mm, I can feel it in my bones. So that shows you we have authority. When we speak, things have to move. When we speak, things have to move. I don't know why I keep looking at the side of that. You guys understand. Yes. So it goes on to say, and the 70 returned again with joy saying lord even the devils are subject upon unto sorry unto us through thy name even the devils are, are su subject unto us right unto us through thy name through your name that means the devils have to bow when you mention the name of jesus When you, when you mention the name of Jesus, the devils have to run, the devils have to flee, because it is the Lord's name. His name is above every other name. I know the enemy 
might be getting vexed right now but i don't care yes yes so it goes on to say and he said unto them i beheld satan as lightning fall from heaven right so we already read chapter 9 which is behold i have given unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all and all over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means hurt you now it goes on to see in verse 20 notwithstanding in this rejoice not the lord is saying rejoice not so he's saying to hold up hold up hold the horses rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you but rather but rather <laughs> rejoice because your names are written in heaven so at this point at this point the lord is teaching us humility even when we've finished casting out the demons in jesus name in my name right he's saying rejoice not rejoice not because you have casted out the devils in my name in thy name except or rather rejoice because thy names are written in heaven so good magic when we don't fight these devils our name is still written in heaven <laughs> surely i can say that satan is a liar from the pit of hell and he does not like the truth so i have another script to share with you guys so uh this scripture is a very powerful scripture the reason being is that it allows things to activate and deactivate now this scripture you could use it in different series of your life right and it allows you to get things and dismantle things destroy things destroy strongholds destroy anything that is sent from the enemy it destroys the word of god is sharper than any two-edged sword okay let's just how i feel like this word is this word is very sharp this is the word of god and I use the word of god to describe the word of god okay that's enough okay it comes from it comes from Matthew 18 from verse 18 Matthew 18 18 I think it goes on to 20, 20 but um, I don't have the full thing right now I'm reading from my notepad right so it says truly I tell you whatever whatever whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven and whatever whatsoever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven what is that trying to tell you now this is trying to say right just for example say you have a pain uh, in your body whatever part you describe you feel that you have a pain right now this pain is there physically in the physical in that spot in that part of your body I don't know where the spot is so there is spirit realms 
there is a dark kingdom and there is a kingdom of light so what I'm basically trying to say now we're on earth and there's a heavenly kingdom there is a heavenly kingdom whatever we bind here on this heart it automatically well the angels when you say something here the angels of heaven react to that what you say so if you say if you say a negative word just say if you say um maybe it might be good tomorrow we feel happy mm. that will be automatically what will be happening to you you won't have a good day so your words are very powerful that's why you have to mind what you say mind what you say and know what you say think what you say before you actually say it. now we're saying now we have that pain there whatever that pain is you speak to that pain i command you pain to leave my body in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind you, I loose you from my body in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, automatically there, that word is spoken. The angels have heard. God has sent them out. My child has just prayed a prayer of healing. My child needs healing angels react to that collect that prayer what has been bind on earth you have already binded using your mouth the angels now take it up in heaven and that which has been binded on earth is now bound in heaven and what has been loosed on earth is now loosed in heaven Okay, so that's just uh, to show you right how the enemy works and trust me this video also has been a has been a battle for me to film it because everywhere I go people are there and I'm not getting to film because people are just making a lot of noise and you know when you make noise you guys don't want to watch the video you might hear a little background noise because it's close to the road but the fact that I'm trying to bring about is that you have to stay close to God. Now, God, the Lord has given me a motto for this channel. Now, it's like, you have to live every day like Jesus is coming tomorrow. Or, you are going to Him. You are going to meet Him tomorrow. When you live like that, it's like, you, you have fear to see hope you have you have what am i saying you have hope to see tomorrow but you're not living recklessly you know uh some teenagers will say uh, live your life to the fullest live your life to the best you don't know what you're gonna see tomorrow you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow but listen God of my present and God of my God of my future. He writes my story and he holds it all together. So ain't nobody coming to tell me that I ain't gonna see my tomorrow. I'm living to see my tomorrow, but I'm not living it like if tomorrow is my last day. <laughs> so live every day intentionally that hear what? If God, if Jesus was to come at this time, what would be my state? Am I going to be partying? Am I going to be smoking? And will I hear, when, well done, good and faithful servant? Or will I hear, depart from me? Now, it's a serious thing to listen to other people and to make your own decision. You could either choose to listen to other persons and live your life recklessly and die recklessly and go to hell. Or you could choose the easy way out, which is the Lord's way. 
accept Christ, live for him like he's coming tomorrow or you're going to him tomorrow, but you're living hopefully and joyfully. You're not living sad, you're not living anxious, afraid. We're not to be afraid of the coming of Christ because we know who we are in Christ and we know what we're working towards. We all want to make heaven together. We are going up together. We are going up together. We're going up to prosper. In the name of the Lord, we're going up together. So that's my encouragement to you guys. And I hope this word reaches to your hearts and penetrate in your hearts and because just like how it penetrated in mine and I had to get it out even though I went through so much to get it out the enemy will not prevail because the word of God is powerful that's why you smile through everything even though the enemy tries to stop you yes so I hope this word I pray this word reaches to your heart and reaches to many people so they will discover what the enemy has been trying to do to their minds Lord God touch them oh God send your spirit Lord God to, to Lord God help them Lord God and I pray Lord God that your minds will be free from torment in the name of Jesus and I pray Lord God that this word will go forth and bring back fruit, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. You guys have a great time, I don't want to say day because this video is going to be there for years, so thank you for watching, bye.